All right, YouTube, this is a uh, long time due videos um, that I meant to do well, way back, like in March, February time frame, but I keep forgetting and pushing it off to the right uh, because of, of cycle, cycle break, and, and they have a lot of time off to kind of prep for this. But I'm going to start a series. Um, I think every Monday or every Tuesday, I will upload a video of different topics. Today's topic is going to be new tips for the drill sergeants coming into uh the trail all right and it's overall from from that that will help anyone going to for jackson where i am or maybe a benning or maybe a, a four seal Oklahoma, uh, uh, for Leonardwood, something like that or even even ait drills can benefit from these tips uh it's things that i observed so far uh in my time here since uh august and I got two and a half cycles in so far, and I will also talk about those um, in a different video whenever I, I upload my, my experience so far. But for, to start, I want to say if you're coming in right out of the bat and you're coming in to, um, to a pre-cycle or mid-cycle, I think the biggest thing is to shadow, all right? Shadow that, that platoon, that senior drill, or that, that, that drill sergeant, that uh that has been there for a minute more than a year for sure uh or you know three cycles in two cycles in just 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 mirror them see how they do things um and kind of stay in the backgrounds a little bit of trying to see how everything actually gets handled all right and then get to know like the in and outs of the company how they manage to do things how they do things how they teach uh, how they lead the way um because a lot of the issues that I encounter with this is, obviously different drills will, will have different leadership style, but different drills will come in, they didn't like something, they would change it internally between them and the platoon with the trainees, but they didn't let the, the platoon leadership know. So when we go out there as the, the senior drill, myself or, or all the drill sergeants that have been in the, the company for a minute, they go and try to ask the trainees, like question the trainees, like, why are we, you guys are not doing this? Oh, because so-and-so told me not to do it because so-and-so told me to change you know to change it this way not do it this way so it's going to be a lot of uh but butting heads if you don't come together with a senior drill and kind of tell them hey grab you know grab my hand i'm gonna teach you the ways if you have any questions you know come to me uh that'll be number one number two uh i don't take away so basically what that is is if you have ideas right if you have uh, anything that could be done better, um, add it to the table, all right? A little bit of meeting or a little bit of conversation with other drill sergeants or even with the first sergeant or something, another senior drill will go a long way um, because I think the biggest thing that a lot of people try to do, a lot of drill drills will come in and they try to recreate the wheel. Um, I had, when I came in on my first cycle, I kind of put all my efforts into making uh, the force better because uh, there was a lot of issues that, that I came across and a lot of drill sergeant approached me and said, hey, you know, since you have the force for your duty week, um, there's just the things that we've seen so far that could be uh, fixed. And I just took their ideas and I ran with them. Uh, I implemented a little bit of my ideas into it, but I took more like it was like 80, 20 percent to 80 them, 80 their ideas and then 20 percent my ideas. We came together got, and like we did like a couple of sync meetings and we came up with a good force plan, which now is obsolete because they changed the entire thing, uh, which we also uh, incorporated a new way to attack this new forge, which worked perfectly. We were the only company that had a pretty decent forge compared to the other companies, and which, you know, it was pretty awesome to see that. Um, but yeah, I don't take away, try to, try to bring stuff to the table, but don't try to recreate the wheel. That would be you're going to have a big head, a headache if you actually try to do that. Um, again, you're not going to change the world, but you can change things, all right? The, the, I think the biggest thing that anyone could come across as an issue is the morale. Um, I don't want to get too in-depth on, on how the morale is for the drill sergeant community, but it varies by, literally, it varies by platoon. Platoon, company, battalions. Like, um, But internally, I think, if, if you're going to come in and try to change anything, try to improve morale. Try to, try to especially for the senior drills, which I'm going to make a video more intense, extends on 
how to be a good teenage drill uh, in the sense of morale. Like, a lot of drills will come in here and they'll have this mentality that is like 99, 100% work, 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 and overworking these drill sergeants. And all you have is like, once you start bringing that mentality, you're going to start, uh, you know, morale is going to start declining and your drills are not going to want to come to work or even work with you or for you. So, um, don't try to change the world, but try to make make life here at the, in the troll better. Uh, and there's many ways you can you can do that. Uh, uh, but the third tip, fourth tip, a pro tip will be if you're a new drill, uh, especially if you're E5 promotable and you're kind of trying to find your 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 fit to the game or your fit to the company. Um, it goes across all the ranks, but I think if you if you're trying to fit in. Um, just emulate someone or mirrors another drill sergeant. Like you're gonna get to know all the drill sergeants in the company. You're gonna get to see how we operate uh, as a company, as a group, and you're gonna say, "Yeah, I want to be more like him." Um, I'm not saying you need to change your leadership style. What I'm trying to say is, um, if you don't, if you not don't know how to handle things and how to have that leadership style developed yet, I think finding that drill sergeant that you say, "Hey, that's the one I want to do. That's the one I'm gonna emulate." That's, that'll be the best thing you can do as a new drill. Uh, fifth tip, ask questions. Please, I cannot emphasize about asking questions. A lot of the drills will come in here, um, and I had I had a couple of new drills that I didn't, I didn't have issues with this. That's all the other drills I have issues with this one. Um, ask questions. Like, we will understand that you're lost. We are definitely going to understand whenever you are, like, overwhelmed. Just ask, ask questions. Just Pull, pull us apart, uh, you know, aside, and then be like, hey, do something, Spinoza, what, what do you think about this? Uh, you know, I have questions about this other thing. Um, we love to answer people's questions because then that would just open the door for communication and that will open the door for a good relationship between anyone and everyone in the company. Uh, so please, new drill, ask questions. Uh, next pro tip, always voice your opinion uh, or your thoughts on anything. All right, so always voice your opinion. So a lot of new drill will feel like they're not part of the team initially in the first, you know, first uh, full cycle or mid cycle or like they just try to. You have to we have you have to get to know each other, right? And we we need to get to know what is what's in your mind as a new drill, and voicing your opinion is that is is doing that, um, seeing things and then. Pulling that senior drill or that other drill sergeant to voice your opinion or to voice what your thought process is be, behind any anything we do here, it will go a long way uh, to incorporate yourself into the team and for us to to mold ourselves into that new new person, new dealership style that just got added into the to the company. So, um, and, and, and in regards to to voicing your opinion, if you don't feel comfortable about anything. Just raise your hand and be like, hey, I don't feel comfortable about doing that. Um, like, I had issues at with drill sergeants at the range not feeling uh, comfortable, you know, being a safety for more than three or four people. But the ratio in, in the regulation is just one to eight or one to ten, uh, which is, is been working awesomely uh, for the rest of the drills here. So, like, if, if you had an issue with that, you can just raise your hand and be like, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't feel comfortable. I need to... Either get pulled, uh, you know, get pulled from the line, or I want to shadow and see how everything uh, works from from my perspective. Because I want to get to, I want to be the drill sergeant that actually feels comfortable at that one to three, one to five ratio, uh, one through eight or one to ten ratio. So, um, what's your opinion? That's the best tip I can give you about that. If you feel uncomfortable about anything, um, remember. Next tip is to remember this is a skill level one. Uh, job okay there's nothing here that requires extra learning requires additional training uh, from any course you need to go to uh, you don't need to this is not a MOS dependent job uh, some drill science made it seem like that uh, and I'm gonna go in depth a little bit on that but even the schoolhouse at the drill science academy doesn't even go in depth on skill level one's task because that's just that's what it is. Skill level one ties the basic army level, um, and if you feel rusty because you have been hiding 
in your MOS or your MOS doesn't get, really get exposed into uh, the skill level one task like the infantry does where we actually get exposed more than anybody or even all the combat MOSs in general, uh, open the book. The training books are out there. We have resources all, all over the battalion and the company. Grab a book and, and read. Um, doesn't take, doesn't, what, what really tends to happen is that the drill sergeants that come in here and don't have that combat experience because they want to rely on those on those combat MOSs, they just they just try to fit in wherever they can and and what that does is it push a lot of pressure into those combat MOS drill sergeants whenever we get to the field, the hammer, the forge, the anvil, um, and even teaching those those skill level one classes because they don't want to get in the books because they don't feel comfortable being in the book and get you know you what I keep always. What I told the drill sergeants out there, whenever they come to me, I said, you got to get uncomfortable to get comfortable. And if you're comfortable, uncomfortable level is getting to know or getting to read, learn that new skill level one task and then teach it to the uh, 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 180, 200 uh, trainees, then that's the comfortable level. But then you get your feet wet and then next, next time, next cycle, we know who to teach that class. So I think overall that just is a skill level one task so just open the book all right people even before you get here open the book refresh on them and then you should be fine um don't be afraid to lead during white space this is more in general with the other the, the previous tip because what tends to happen is a lot of the the old drills are doing 50 80 steps ahead uh, of things that are coming up, right? Because we know what's going, we know the routine, we know maybe next week we have the hammer, maybe next week we have the ACFT. So we, we are doing many, many things and the new drill is either doesn't know what to do or is either in behind the, the doors and kind of like in their phones or, or trying to try to fit in, right? But where you can fit in is those white space moments, that's your time to, to put your skill level one test to the test and uh, skill skill level one skills to the test and go out there expose yourself get in the stand get in the pt stand and lead prt supplemental prt in the afternoon um teach a class or two in the classroom um you know expose yourself so that you can fill in those white space and then us other drills can just keep doing what we're doing and we don't have to stop doing what we're doing uh so i hope that one makes a lot of sense because it, relying on those drills that can say hey I'll get in the PT stand. Give me those. Give me the company outside. We're gonna do. We're gonna refresh on CD2, for example. Good. Let's go. You know. So, if you're in a drill, don't be afraid to get on the PT stand. Uh, next tip. Um, always, always, always cross check everything with the previous drills. All right. This is. This goes with the first couple uh, tips. We we're talking about um, changing or adding or taking away. So. Before you even teach anything, go 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 find a drill and be like, hey, can I teach it to you so you can give me some pointers? Yes, and absolutely, people are going to say yes. Or there's going to be available drills out there where they're going to say, hey, I don't have anything to do right now. Yeah, let's go. And you teach that class, you refresh that class with that drill, and then you say, hey, give me some pointers, How pointers that work in this company. And they can say like, oh, yeah, this so-and-so is an expert on this topic. I will get with him. So you can get the tips from that topic. Or if you try to teach range procedures, for example, what I do is, uh, which this is more in depth to the senior drill tips when I'm coming up next week with it. Um, for range week, I know who my range operation experts are. And I am place those people there. So whenever it's time to brief those points, I'm not the one briefing. I'm letting the people that has been here for like a year and a half, two years to teach those points. And then I'm, I'm soaking all that in. So whenever they go, they leave, I can I can take over and say, this is how it's been ran for many, many months. It worked so perfectly. And we're just going to continue that. So there's, con there's continuity to the actual way we do things. So, uh, oh, you know, mainly mainly range is like the biggest thing. Because a lot of people doesn't know how to manage range. Get those experts in. Learn from them. Right? And then... Um, if you want to implement something, ask the spirit drill before you actually teach it, and then you'll be fine. Um, and then lastly, last tip, it's going to be overall on 
adapting and overcoming. I think I've learned so far in this unit uh, that if you cannot adapt to the way they do things, uh, it, you're going to have a way bigger headache. All right. This tip doesn't go along with the saying as if you have an issue with something, voice your opinion. All right. We fix a lot of the issues within the company itself and the battalion just because we voice our opinion. Um, and, and that's from me as a as a fresh baby drill, way they call me, with the two two cycles in, or even the, the long terms, we just got together and say this is this is wrong, and we're gonna change this thing. And we we got together and we submitted it, and we got things done. Um, we were the first battalion, and we were the only company two cycles back that we had fuel sticks training implemented uh, during COVID, which is really amazing. We just got together as a drills and put put a con up together, submitted it to. Uh, ATC got approved and we we did fuel sticks um, and and the relations to to adapting and overcoming I think a lot of the issues is drills sergeants just staying in their MOS mindset and it happens to me on my first cycle uh, it's gonna happen to people I think if, if we can have a conversation about it on my comments below uh, I can tell you more in depth of what happened but I think coming over here it was a wake-up call on how my mind was, you know, brainwashed, if you will, uh, to my MOS, right? And, and we do things in my MOS differently than any other MOS and in, in any other environment. And this is something I learned quicker was this is a different environment. This is a different perspective of things. I got to adapt to this. If I see issues, I'm definitely going to voice my opinion. I'm a super opinionated person. But um, I had to readdress my, my style, readdress the my mentality, readdress the way I do things. And then from there, I took decisions. I'm saying like, this is the way I'm going to be at. This is the way I'm going to be doing these things now. So overall, like that is the ben, the main, main tip I can tell you. Just adapt and overcome. And if you have any issues, address them. Um, so I'm hoping this series can help people coming in the troll. Uh, also, if you if you are all drilled watching my videos, um, I answer all the comments. Um, subscribe, you know, share, comment below. I'm fine. I don't do the whole, you know, formality where, you know, bring the bell and subscribe here. I don't care. I just try to put information out there so that it's, it's, it's online and you can find it and then hopefully it can help someone that's coming in the drill. And if you have tips, other tips, add them to the comment below um, and I'll, I'll uh, you know, I'll pin them so that other drills can, can read them. So I'll basically copy paste to my pen post and then we just add them in there. Comment below. Like and share. You didn't like the video, dislike the video. Uh, other than that, take care, people. And hopefully, I can do this a weekly. And I got more videos coming. It just it took me a minute to to get back in the rhythm. So just stay tuned. You know, share and like the the page, the the, the channel. And then I see you guys until next video.